Hi students, in this video we are going to learn a case study question from arithmetic progression of class 10. Your elder brother want to buy a car and plans to take a loan from a bank for his car. He repays his total loan of 1,18,000 by paying every month starting with the first installment of Rs. 1,000. If he increases the installment by Rs. 100 every month, answer the following question. So, totally he pays the amount, the total amount, the repay amount is given as 1,18,000 and the first installment that should be taken as a first term of our AP, that is our A is given as 1,000. Every time he increases the installment by 100 rupees, that is a common difference is 100 rupees. That means the first, the AP is the first month he paid 1000 rupees as an installment amount. The next month he will be paying 1100. The next month he will be paying 1200. Every month he is increasing his amount. That is a given question. Now let us uh, answer the following questions. So here comes the first question. Amount paid by him in 30th installment. What will be the 30th installment amount they are asking? They didn't ask you the total amount paid in the 30th installment. They are asking only the in 30th installment what will be the amount uh, will be paid by him. That is our first question. They are asking what is A30. 30th installment amount they are asking. So we have the basic formula. That is AN. AN is equal to a n is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. This is a basic formula. Now, this is A 30 is equal to A plus N value is 30. So, 30 minus 1 will give you 29 D. So, this is a 30th value. Now, here A value we have given with 1000 plus 29 into D value we have given with 100. Now, this is 1000 plus 29 double zero we can write it so let's add it 2900 and 1000 will give you 3900 so 3900 that is given as a first option a option is your correct look at the next question the amount paid by him in the 30 installments look at the question and compare the question here they are asked you to find 30th installment here they are asked you to find the amount paid by him in the 30 installments. Together they are asking. So they are asked you to find out S30. S30 is a question mark. So the given question is mentioned already. The first amount is 1000 and the difference is 100. Now SN formula SN is equal to N by 2. 2A plus N minus 1 into D. This is a basic formula to find the sum of N terms. Here they are asked us to find S30. So 30 by 2, 2 into A value is 1000 plus N minus 1. N is 30 here. So 30 minus 1 will give you 29. D value is 100. Now 30 and 2 will cancel by 2 table 15 times. 2 into 1000 will give us 2000. 29 into 100 will give you 2900. So 15, 29 twos are 58. Sorry, just a 4,900, we just add them and we have to multiply with 15. So, 49 and 15 you multiply then add with the two zeros. 45, 5, balance 4, 20, 24, then with the 1, 49. So, 5, 13, balance 1, 7. So, 7, 3, 5 and the two zeros will be added here. 73,500 is your correct answer that is given in the B option. That is your correct answer. Look at the next question. What amount does he still have to pay after, the spelling is printed wrongly, after 30th installment. After 30th installment, how much amount still he have to pay they are asking. Now up to the 30 installment, what is the amount he paid now? 73,500 he paid up to the 30th installment. What is the total amount he has to pay to the bank? That is already mentioned in the question. That is 1,18,000 is the total loan amount. Up to the 30th installment he has paid 73,500. So 73,500 he paid already. Now after this installment how much he has to pay? They are asking you just subtract them and write it. 0,0,5 then 4, 4. 
44,500 rupees is a pending to complete his loan. So 44,500 is a C option. That is your correct answer. Look at the next question. If the total installment are 40, then the amount paid in the last installment. So there are only 40 installment. The last installment will be the 40th installment. So they are asked us to find what is the 40th installment. A40 they are asking. A40 is nothing but A plus 39B. A value, question they have given us 1000. 39 times D value is 100. Now this is 1000 plus 39 into 100 will give you 3900. 3900 plus 1000 will give you 4900. If there are only 40 installment, the amount paid in the last installment will be 4900. That is given here. First option is a correct option. The ratio of the first installment to the last installment they are asking. First installment is A. Last installment is 40th installment which we have found now. Now they are asking you to find the ratio. That is first ratio, first month installment A1. Last month installment is A40. First installment 1000 already mentioned. 40th installment now we have found out. 4900, two zeros, two zeros we can cancel. So 10 is to 49. There is no other common table, so we can stop here. So 10 is to 49 is your B option. That is your correct answer. If you feel the video is useful, give a like to us. Subscribe our channel for more videos.